So we're gonna take this small cable car. Oh, oh no. Okay, if I move, nothing happens. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> no one's opening the door. Oh my gosh. No, stay inside. <laughs> We're a little nervous around the cows, and these cows, they came over and spit right at me. The farmers up here told us they're doing some explosions. Hi, welcome back to Swiss Family Fun. I'm Tanya, and today we are in central Switzerland. We are doing the Wild Heufad, which means the wild hay trail. So it's about 7.4 kilometers. We've come up one uh, cable car, hiking over to the other one, coming back down to the valley. It should be nice, it's gorgeous weather, it's fall. It's just like the perfect hiking day. So uh, come along with us on the trail today. I will put a link in the description below to our website where we have all the details for this trail, including a trail map. And now let's get on the trail. Oh, it's really popular today. So we're gonna hike up and hike down. No, we're gonna ride up. And oh yeah, down. ride up and hike down. No, ride up, hike cross, hike down. <laughs> A lot of different choices on this trail sign. Farmers up here told us they're doing some explosions, and so we're not allowed to go on the trail, and we've got to go down here. But is there, there are instructions on how to rejoin the trail were not helpful. So I was a little too busy up there to tell you about this, but up there, there was a guy with a hard hat on, and he said, oh, you can't walk here. Uh, we're exploding the mountain, so you got to go around. But they were very vague on the trail instructions. They're like, you just have to go <laughs> down, the mountain like not on the trail just hike straight down it was ridiculous it was very slippery very difficult i was sure we were gonna break leg and they i kept asking i'm like okay but we're gonna connect with the trail right and they're like no just go down and i'm like yeah but there's a trail they would not answer my question very vague but eventually we did come to a trail so that was good and then as we maybe i don't know what 10 15 minutes later then we heard the explosions and they echoed around the valley I don't know, it just seemed like it took us four times as long to come down that part as it would for them to just let us go on the trail real quick around the curve and join up with the normal trail. And I don't know, 
know, it's very confusing. And it wasn't clear if we followed their instructions whether we'd just be scrambling our way down a very steep slope for the entire rest of the trip or if we would actually be on a trail. I was a little annoyed by that. I know, it did spit at me. What the heck? I know. So there were some hikers that got attacked by some cows, what was it, last week? A couple weeks ago? And so we're a little nervous around the cows. And these cows, they came over and spit right at me. We all ducked under the under the fence here to get away from them. And they're making noises at us and we're not so happy with these cows. The farmer was going up to gather the cows for milking. And right after we passed them, the cows and those cows were very aggressive and one of them spat at me. I ducked under the fence to avoid him and then he came over right next to me, considered the fence whether he was going to come get me and instead spat right at me. Gross. Yay. We have our little map. The mountain with the cross up there is how would you say that? Rofayan. Rofayan, maybe? A bunch of ones, I don't know what the names are. Oh, Eggberg. That's where, Berge, that's where we started. And this one. I have climbed to this one. Niederbaum Gold. That's the only one. We made it to Oberachsen. And they have a nice little playground. Oh, and a great trampoline, huh? We made it to Oberachsen. It was a great trail. I really like this trail. It's surprising how you can continue to find amazing trails all over Switzerland. I feel like I've been everywhere, but clearly I haven't. So much more left to explore. This is a really fantastic trail. Gorgeous views. E pretty easy walking. I mean, it, it was a little scary because there's a lot of places where it drops off very steeply. So I would be nervous with little kids, but other than that, the walking's not very difficult and the downhill band is not too long, so loved it. I wonder if they'll squeeze us all in, because it takes four people. Well, where is it? How do you get in? So we're gonna take this small cable car. It's right, Yeah, they put a cushion. I wanna be very helpful, but I had a, real, a lot of trouble understanding how this cable car works, so. On, on the website and on the information here, it says if it, it only fits four people. Uh, it said if you have three people, then they'll just run it whenever. But I called her on the little phone here, and I said, okay, we're five, we're two adults and three kids, can we go? She's like, that's fine, but it's not going till five o'clock, which is in 15 minutes. So, which it's normal schedule is to go every half an hour. Uh, so I guess we have to wait, even though we're more than three people. Uh, I think that you have to call. There was, uh, there's a phone back here, I'm gonna show it to you. Right here. And when there's no one down at the bottom, then you can buy a token here, a jeton, and then just pay for it and it'll go. Uh, but I think that there's people, so it's okay. We're gonna make it. Well, we'll see how it goes. I hope we make it down there. We're just gonna sit in the car because we're not exactly sure if it's gonna go or when it's gonna go. We'll find out. Hey, whoa, look at the goos. Yeah. They look nice compared to the other one. Oh, there's a baby over there. Yeah, up there. Oh, yeah. So we don't want to go near them. Usually, <laughs> like, they, they so like, stabilize <laughs> themselves. Yeah. But this one's just, like, attached. So <laughs> if, it, if the cables are steep, it's steep. If the cables are, like, flat, then it's oh flat. Oh, my gosh. Just oh, don't no. move. It's crazy. It's don't it, move. No. Oh, no. Look, if I move, nothing happens. Don't no. Move. No. <laughs> No one's opening the door. Oh my gosh. No, stay inside. <laughs> oh my god. You this are so terrifying. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is uh, the scariest one I've ever been on. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> what is this woman thinking? <laughs> this is terrifying. She sounds like happy like this. <laughs> you guys are lucky you're not sitting where we're sitting because we're like full weight on the back. Like you can feel. <laughs> full weight forward. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You're lucky that you're not here. I've never been on a scarier one. This is the scariest ever. Don't look down there. <laughs> Tanya, just like look oh, down. Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm not gonna look. Don't look down. No, but like, don't, don't look, look down. down on this Ooh. side. Oh my gosh. 
Close your that eyes. That is terrifying. And, and make the worst part is that you can open it. Don't open it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Never doing that. Don't. I'm, to, I'm sort of sad that we're done. You're sad? You want to do it again? No. no. Okay. Open it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was terrifying. <laughs> If you like what you saw, I'll put a link in the description below to our website where I have all the details, including a trail map and information on how to get here. And we'll see you here next time for more family fun in Switzerland.